India has expressed an interest in participating in the sixth generation fighter jet program led by UK, Japan and Italy. However, the Japanese government has voiced concerns about intellectual property protection due to India's long-standing defense ties with Russia. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has inaugurated a new infrastructure at the Kawar Naval Base under Project Seabird and also inaugurated the Naval Commanders Conference 2025 and flagged off the Saga mission. Hyderabad-based Weeper Defense will supply 10 Ugram rifles to the BSF for testing. India has issued multiple area warnings for missile tests in the Bay of Bengal region, that includes a long-range missile as well. The DRDO has conducted four successful flight tests of the Army version of MR-SAM against high-speed aerial targets, and the missiles registered direct hits at long-range short range and at high and low altitude. India and Philippines are all set to sign a $200 million deal for the export of Akash surface-to-air missile system. The Indian Air Force has received clearance to procure six Embraer ERJ-145 aircraft for the improved Netra Mark 1A program, and this approval will be formalized soon by the Defence Acquisition Council, and Adani Defence has been selected as the Indian partner for the program. The Indian Air Force has initiated a proposal to develop a part task trainer for its Mirage 2000 fighter jet, to enhance pilot training and operational readiness. Godrej Aerospace has confirmed the delivery of the first two modules of the dry cavalry engine to the gas turbine research establishment, and six additional modules are slated for delivery later this year. Goa Shipyard has awarded an 11.37 crore rupees contract to Hyderabad-based Avantal for the supply of advanced SATCOM for the next generation of shore patrol vessels. Japanese media has reported that India has formally approached the Japanese government to explore participation in the Global Combat Air Program, which is a trilateral initiative by United Kingdom, Japan and Italy to develop a sixth-generation fighter jet. However, Japan has expressed concerns over technology leakage due to India's long-standing defense ties with Russia. Both the UK and Italy were enthusiastic about India joining the program, even before Japan formally entered the program. A senior official from Japan's defense ministry has said that India's inclusion will only lead to our technology being stolen, that could inadvertently flow to Russia. A debate has started that a twin-engine variant of the Tejas Mark II known as Tejas Mark III, powered by twin cavalry engines each generating 75 kN of thrust, will position it in the same league as the French Rafale aircraft. With a maximum takeoff weight of 24 tons, the Tejas Mark III with an indigenous radar and fully homegrown weapons suite, could make it a perfect indigenous MRFA fighter jet, without any dependence on imports or reliance on a foreign country. Amid the massive delay in the delivery of Indian Army's six Apache attack helicopters from Boeing, HAL has announced that it has no plans to develop an heavy attack helicopter in the Apache class, citing limited demand from the Indian Air Force and the Indian Army. Officials also said that the 13-ton IMRH program is still awaiting CCS clearance, which has a projected requirement of 200 by the Air Force, 100 for the Army and 14 for the Navy. Today's top 3 comments.